If you struggle with winning in Wreckfest or are looking for a different perspective on how to improve your effectiveness and line choice, then this might be one of the most enlightening videos you watch. A lot of what you're about to see applies in every racing game there is, from F1 to Burnout. Now, this video alone won't make you into an unstoppable god. Past experiences are far more valuable than a handful of memorised rules. Control is more important than sheer speed and ability, and winning a race is less about doing a few blistering laps, and is more about how you drive with others. Improving your ability to take in information from all around your car, and using it to control situations will be more important than your ability to cause carnage and get out unscathed. In the race you're about to watch, I'll make hundreds of split-second decisions, keeping one of the fastest drivers in the server off of me. Let's break down what happened, why I made these decisions, and how they affected my race. Immediately I'm trying to be aggressive by pushing Akima over here off to the left hand side of the track so that I can throw the tail out to get into the right hand corner next. In the position I'm in now, I was slowing down but I decide to accelerate so that I can force a wedge between Sergi and Rules, hopefully putting Rules a bit further behind. What with me having played in the server for a while, I know that Rules is quite a quick driver, and if I can move him to the back and get him behind me, it makes it easier to block him off in the future. That way he also can't get ahead. Here we can see I'm trying to force Petrol to go much wider than uh, he wants to go. He starts braking because he knows the corner coming up can cause a crash. I'm going to take claim on this, on him braking, I'm going to continue trying to power through. After me bumping him from those uh, coming up to the straight, he knows that I want that space as well. Uh, I'm also going a bit quicker than him. What with him braking now, he's not going to keep up. I didn't really want to cut here. Uh, I've got to though. Have a look up at the uh, mini map. I'll zoom it in now. You can see uh, the small crash that we had has quickly gotten much bigger. Here you'll notice that my game freezes up. Uh, kind of annoying when this happens, but normally I would completely re-record everything. Decide to keep it in though, uh, as we make quite a good comeback from this wreck. This is not a fun place to be. The moment I get down on the ground, I'm going to try and reset as soon as possible. I'm in quite an interesting predicament here. Um, <clears throat> you can see just up ahead in the track, Rules is backwards and he's also reversing into the track as you'll see. Now we're encountering Rich Bees. Uh, I, when I first saw him, I take two things from noticing him. One, he's moving off to the right hand side of the track, which shows that he understands a bit about line choice, trying to stay on the outside of the track so he can get on the inside to apex the corners. I'm going to try and overtake him on his outside. Probably would have been a smarter idea to cut inside of him here, but it's whatever. He's also in a rocket that's painted bright pink. This doesn't really mean much. Uh, anyone can drive a bright pink rocket, but typically... Uh, how can I put this? Bright pink is preferred by... 12 year olds um, so he could be very aggressive I've also not seen him in the server before so I've got to treat him with a bit of caution here you should take note of our line choice look at how far outside on the track we are we're trying to as you'll see when we're coming into the corner make this little chicane as straight a line as possible for us. If possible, we don't want to have to overcorrect. Um, 
we should be able to pretty much turn in, straighten up and then just turn right. Ahead of me here is Zelkin. He is possibly one of the fastest drivers in the server at the moment. Um, we have an encounter with him later, don't forget him. This is the exact second that I realised that there was going to be a pretty bad crash between me and I wasn't sure with who at the time, but one of the three cars in front of me. Uh, possibly all of them. The reason I know this is because of the angles that we've all come in together. I'm the only person really wide enough to uh, make the corner. Zelkin is nowhere near wide enough and Ducci is trying to push into him so that he can get a decent angle. Both Ducci and Zelkin hit the wall. Uh, I ram into Ducci and he spins out because of it. Akima hits Daffy to my left and gets forced off the track to the right hand side there. Uh, I sneak in between getting pushed forwards by someone else. Notice ahead of me Zelkin is being spun around by Dave the Rave. Uh, what a name. The first thing I notice about him aside from his obscene name, is the fact that he's spinning Zelkin. Um, that's alright, I guess. I don't mind too much about him spinning someone who's fast now. Um, obviously it's against the rules in the server I'm in, but whatever. This is Wreckfest, right? He's also in a rocket with the American flag painted on it. So he's possibly very bad at the game, or very new at the game. I overtake Dave quickly. It's possible that he saw the moderator in front of him and thought that he might get kicked if he tried something. I don't know why he didn't try anything. Maybe the spin was unintentional. Um, whatever. Take note of my line choice coming into here, uh, and also the fact that we can see his car. Because we can see his car and the trajectory it's taken, we know what line that he's going to do. Uh, I can tell that he's going to take roughly the same line as Sub-Zero has in front of me, which is probably the better line to take. Um, however, what with me going f much further inside on the corner, that means that we're going to crash into each other on the next turn, pretty much exactly between Sub-Zero and the car in front of him. So we're going to have to prepare for it by steering into his car as we collide. That little crash worked out quite well in my favour, it also put him a bit further back so he won't be a problem again in the race. Uh, now I'm going to short shift to see if I can get a bit ahead of Sub-Zero for the straight so that we don't have another crash on the corner. We have the whole track to ourselves here so we can afford to go as wide as possible and then cut inside as close as possible to the wall. We have no reason to mess up this corner at the moment and because we have the whole track to ourselves we can use this time to get away from Sub-Zero and Zelkin. Dave, the player who I just rammed into that corner, um, he corner bombed me the race before, as you <laughs> saw in the chat. Uh, I can see now that he's on the inside line again. I'm suspecting at this point that he's going to do the same thing. 
checking our rear light we have allows us to figure out what line he's going to take. <laughs> we have a lot of real estate to manoeuvre around now. The players in front of us are 9 seconds away, so we're not we're probably not going to get anywhere near them for the rest of the race. I can divert my attention to what's going on behind me at this point. Um, that doesn't mean I can relax. I know Gallagher's fast and I know the car behind him, which is probably Zelkin, considering that that other guy... <laughs> oh, he, won't, he won't be keeping up. <laughs> um, so, pay close attention to all of my lines and the way I'm transferring weight through the corners. Again, we're shifting as soon as we get out the corner and we're actually pointing in a straight direction. This will maximize our acceleration out of the corner. I know what Gallagher is driving, it's a Boomer RS, and uh, Zelkin behind him is in a Road Slayer. The Road Slayer is very similar to the Super Venom that I'm driving, in the sense that it accelerates very quickly and corners badly. The Boomer is the opposite of that though. Gargo and Zelkin are starting to stress me out a little bit here. Uh, you can tell because it puts my line off. Um, they're starting to catch up to me constantly and it's getting really stressful. If you couldn't tell the race stress is starting to get on top of me, uh, you definitely should be able to now. Uh, you can see I steer way too early, having not messed this corner up once yet. You can see that I come out fairly centred in the track. What this does is it forces anyone behind me to change direction in order to overtake me. This way they'll lose a little bit of speed having to turn and I'll have some more time because they're turning. We'll also short shift very quickly to escape them as fast as possible. You'll notice that I come out of this corner very badly. Um, the corner coming up is, I should have said this earlier, my least favourite corner in the game. Um, I don't know what it is about a muddy, very slight chicane, but if you ask anyone who I play this game with, uh, then they'll tell you that this is probably my least favourite corner, if we've ever discussed it, that is. Notice how we have yet again fucked up this line. Uh, back to the reference of me not liking this corner at all. The next video will not be on this track, I promise. Um, notice how we block Zelkin really quite effectively by accident. And his second ram, that he, or bump I guess that he gives us, actually works out quite well in our favour. Now, you've seen how I've done the race and I've broken it down completely. Let's watch it back in real time and see all those decisions flow into one. Thanks for watching.